this old DC meter type A running on about 10 volts, 1.5 ampere. It's just a load of a uh, small car bulb, orange car bulb. I'll wait for the wall over when it happens. I'll open the meter up to and show the inside of this device. This was the resistor, the shunt behind it, so you need quite a large current to make it move. Then I made another parallel resistor and that got it hardly going. I'm not too worried about the accuracy and I'll put now a 1 ohm resistor in here that goes in parallel with the metering uh, part and then uh, yeah, it seems to be running fine. I'm not sure about the exact year of this meter but it would be early 1900s, 1910, 1915. It's really smooth. It's an amazingly well made meter. Um, this actual disc is a motor. It got um, coils in the, on the inside. There's a commutator here. I'll try to get a better shot of this. There's a commutator. I'll stop the meter. Start the meter again. Normal worm drive. All metal gear train including the number drums on the register. These are all typical classic silver colored. Can you see my pointer? Oh no, classic silver poly aluminium compound. We are just uh, discussing uh, these meters with unusual discs on the watt hour of group and Facebook. Beautiful meter. Commutator seen from the other side. So these contacts are parallel with the actual shunt, which could be that big resistor I showed you earlier. So these meters need to be uh, set up for a particular load. That's a resistor I made, and then I got a big thing floating around here somewhere. So the voltage drop across the shunt will get the meter to drive and measure the amp hours. So you need to calibrate it accordingly. I missed the roll over to 80.00. The meter runs at 5,000 revolutions per unit. It had 230 volts on there and somebody modified it to 6 volts and then you put the, of course a different shunt. So I would say the big shunt, it was 230 volt 15 ampere, the big shunt is for 6 volts at who knows what current. I'm not sure what the logo is. Is it AEI? 
high torque. Cannot find any information about this meter. The casing is very heavy. Thick cast iron. This base is very heavy too. More heavy cast material somehow. So I'll make another fresh video. I made a video of this thing many years ago, but uh, time to revisit this beautiful meter again. What I'll call 2007. DC or Gelijkstroom meter. Only two terminals. Actually, the current goes in on this side through the meter and comes out this side to the load. So it's just a nice series with the load battery charge or anything. <laughs>